Did you finally save up for and buy a new graphics card only to hear Nvidia announce the new 30 series cards and curse the gods in anger? Yes, you are justified, but worry not, Nvidia also released some snazzy AI updates for any 20 series RTX or even some GTX users out there. And I'm here to tell you all about them. This is DIY in 5. Hello everyone, and welcome to DIY in 5 the show where we help you up your tech game in five minutes or less. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and you've probably heard a bunch of buzz online about the new NVIDIA 30 Series GPUs. Very reasonably priced with crazy performance boasts like twice the performance of the previous generation and 8K RTX gaming. But what really matters when looking at a GPU is what you can do with it. NVIDIA also announced AI-driven broadcast app software, which will definitely enhance your experience even on your current hardware. And that's what we'll dive into today. If you find the information in today's video useful, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit that bell so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. Even if you don't consider yourself a broadcaster per se, you probably make video calls for work, school, or social activities. Upping the quality of your audio and video has been tough thanks to high demand causing limited stock and price gouging on hardware. NVIDIA's new broadcasting app, set to launch alongside the new GPUs, will use AI software to help you look and sound more professional than ever, and it will work on any RTX card at launch with support coming for GTX cards soon after. So what does it do? How does it make the experience better? First, let's talk about noise removal. If I'm streaming a game using a mechanical keyboard, my mic will pick up and broadcast every little click and clack. By turning on noise removal in the microphone section of the broadcasting app, my voice will become clear and that background noise will be a thing of the past. But I'm still getting to play with mechanical keys. Noise removal even works with incoming audio. Let's say someone on your conference call has a rather loud cacophony of sound going on in the background. Dogs barking, kids playing, etc. By toggling noise removal on in the speakers section of the broadcasting app, the AI will enhance the speaker's voice while removing the background noise so that you can focus on what's most important. Bad audio is the worst, so these solutions could be real game changers. NVIDIA's broadcasting app isn't just focusing on sound though. The AI software has a few tricks up its sleeve to enhance your video output as well. Some of you may have seen software-driven background removal before. Video conferencing apps like Zoom and broadcasting software like XSplit have their own built-in tools that effectively emulate a green screen, removing the background from your video feed and letting you replace it with a photo, a bouquet effect, or to place yourself over gameplay or a presentation. Software is certainly much simpler than a full green screen setup, but usually nowhere near as effective. NVIDIA's broadcasting app software is hoping to change that by giving you professional quality background removal without the hassle of a green screen. Huge if true. In addition to background removal, NVIDIA's new auto frame feature will zoom in on you and use AI to track your head positioning and movement, keeping you center frame even as you shift around your room. It's like you have your own AI camera person and how cool is that? I for one can't wait to mess around with this software. Will you be trying it? Let us know in the comments. Or did you get your hands on a 3080 post haste? I personally am a recent 2080 Ti owner, so I'll be waiting to see what all the real world benchmarks look like and to see what AMD's next move is. In the meantime, you bet your buttons I'll be messing around with the new broadcast app software. Until next time, everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and you've been watching DIY in 5.